Well, hello everyone. This is Dr. Eileen, and this is another Daily Dose of Medicine walk. And Sam and I are back out here on the porch because it is a tremendously lovely day. And, you know, even though we've got an occasional car going by, you know, it's very nice to be out here and with the birds and hearing the river. So, um, today's question is related to something that I've brought up several times, but I realize I haven't gone into a lot of depth about it, which is when I talk about grounding to stones. Now understand, stones are not the only thing. You can ground up things other than earth, but the idea of um, being able to ground to a particular thing, a particular element, so we may as well start with the one that most people can ground to the easiest. And I will go over, for those of you who ground to other things, we'll go over that later. But our question for today is, how exactly do you ground to a stone? Well, the first thing is finding a stone. And this one is a very cool stone that actually came from a cave in England that was near a place called Merlin's Cave where supposedly according to legend the wizard Merlin came out of the ocean at that point and so it's a cave that part of the time because of the tide is inaccessible and it's filled with water but when the tide goes out you can go into it and I went there and met with a druid named Jamie who was doing tours and I had taken a group there to do tours. And um, I, he invited me sort of away from the group and sent me into a different cave. And he said, go all the way to the back and see what I find. And so I went all the way to the back and this stone was there and it resonated with me and you know we've been together since and because i believe that everything holds a spirit there is a spirit and a consciousness in this stone and that's a big part of going into that place of grounding so first take a deep breath and relax do that breath in where you breathe in for four hold for four and then exhale for eight. So however you do it, it's just that your inhale and your hold, however many seconds you do that for, make the exhale twice as long and do that about three times. Then um, if you already have a stone and people who resonate with stones have a tendency to collect them, so you may already have a stone. If you don't, then you, know, you can go to a rockery, you can go to a, um, you can go to a river, you can go somewhere, I mean, even walking along an old road, you may find a stone that all of a sudden gets your attention. It's almost as if it calls to you. And once you have that stone, you know, just really look at it, really appreciate it, feel it in your hands, you know, experience it on a physical level. You know, how warm does it feel? How cold does it feel? How heavy does it feel? Um, you know, look at it, you know, what are the colors that you see? You know, this one has, I don't know if you can see it, but this one has like a little bit of a sparkle in the sun because there's little tiny bits of quartz in it and just, you know, get to know it, feel the rough spots, feel the hard spots. Then when you've experienced it for its physical qualities, take another breath. and then just hold it. And as you hold it, just direct your empathy into it. You know, just feel the stone on an energetic level. And you have to make yourself really quiet. You have to be very calm because the energy and the consciousness of a stone is very, very still. So it has, it's something very subtle. So you really need to go into that if you do a meditation, if you need to, you know, if you, however you normally get into that nice place of stillness, then just hold it 
and hold it for as long as you need to. And it may take a while and it may take a few different sessions to do it. But just sit and just be with it. Feel, be very aware of where your skin comes in contact with the stone. And after a while, you'll start to feel that kind of difference fade. And it's almost as if you're not quite sure where the stone ends and your hand starts. So just sit with it, be with it, experience it. You know, if you want to carry it around and hold it, that'll intensify the connection. And then as you create that connection, as you find that stillness, and for those of you who aren't sure and you say, it's like, well, I really don't feel anything. Use your imagination. Pretend what it would be like to be a stone. I mean, you feel it. You feel how still and quiet it is. Picture like, especially for a river stone, that everything flows past it. Picture what it would be like to feel everything flow past and move on. And then just be with it. Allow it to take you because if you can get your mind still enough and quiet enough and, you know, don't try to rush it. Don't try to, you know, make yourself connect with it. It has to be something very organic and something very flowing like water. And just sit with it and experience it. You will feel your energy reaching out to it automatically and you will feel its energy reaching out to you. And the quieter you become, the more you match that stillness. So after spending time over and over again, you know, it's like I said, this takes practice. It takes, it, it's sort of like building a relationship, building a friendship. You know, when you first meet somebody, it's not about, hey, yeah, now we're buddies. Yeah, right. You know, you have to get to know each other. You have to learn about each other. You have to be able to kind of become comfortable with each other. And so once you're able to do that, once you're able to, um, you know, be comfortable with each other, then you might notice that it starts to speak to you, not in words, but in feelings, in energy. You'll feel that energy. You'll find yourself wanting to be in contact with it. And if you're holding it, you may notice that the more attention you put into the stone, the less other things around you affect you. The more, the less empathic you are with the whole world and the more empathic you are with the stone. And once you get into that space where you're sitting with it, you're imagining yourself as that stone, you're being in that space with the stone, it will start to change your empathy. It'll change your sensitivity. And what happens then is that you reach that point where even when you're not holding the stone, if you need to calm everything down, to go into that place of stillness, because that's what the stone teaches, is stillness. You go into that place of stillness and then at that point, all it is, is anytime you want to be in that place of stillness, you concentrate on the stone, you think about it, you call to it, you call to that energetic and it will activate because that energy will become a part of you. I mean, we are in part stone. We're all the elements, fire, water, earth, and air are all inside of our bodies. Stone, we have our bones. And when you reach that place of resonating, that bone within you, the stone within you resonates with the stone that you carry. Yes. Resonates with the stone that you carry then you become one with it. And then your energy becomes one with that sensation, with that energetic, that turns your empathy down. What is it saying? Making noises and everything. So, you know, focus on that. And once you can embody that feeling, once you can bring back that moment where you become one with the stone, and you're in that space and you can stay in that space for a while just sitting with the stone and you go into that still place of detachment where everything flows past 
you end up being able to call that up and that will shut your empathy down because your whole focus then becomes the energy of the stone. And by learning how to kind of turn that connection up or turn that connection down, you can begin to create your dimmer switch. Are you more feeling more like the stone or are you feeling a little less like the stone? So that will give you the range. But the first step is to just be able to go into that place of being the stone, of energetically resonating with that frequency. So I'm, I will share, be sharing more about this and more about grounding with other elements, but I wanted to really go into specifics about how to do that. And like I said, you know, your, your stone will find you and there's a lot of different places that you can find one. So, um, don't worry if right away, you know, cause it's not a matter of just going and picking one. You have to pick each other and you will. And if you resonate with stones, you probably have some stones around you. And maybe there is one that you notice that you prefer to have near you. And, you know, having it like about this size or smaller means that you can carry it around, that you can have it in a purse or, um, you know, keep it somewhere near you. And I would recommend spending as much time with it as you learn to know each other, as you learn to connect. There is a consciousness in here and in everything. And this one is an excellent teacher of stillness, of quietness and of detachment. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments or contact me about it. And I'll be happy to assist you. And if you have any other things that you would like me to cover, please let me know in the comments. If you are listening in on Blog Talk Radio, I invite you to come over to the YouTube page and check that out because that way you can actually see stuff. If you like this video, please press like. If you want to support this video at a slightly higher level, then please, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It would help me out and help out the channel. And if you'd like to support on a higher level, my Patreon link is in the description and you can go there and support me for as little as $2 a month. And there are certain perks that go with becoming a sponsor up to and including uh, personal one-on-one -on -one conferences with me. So um, thank you for joining me. You can reach me through Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter or you can reach me through my Facebook group, Medicine Walk with Dr. Eileen. So thank you. And as always, I wish you balance and I wish you blessings from my heart to yours. Love you. And see you next time. Bye.